Good evening and welcome to another super exciting edition of Sports. And first up in sports, young Gabrielle Sims recently returned back to Grand Bahama after an excellent showing in El Salvador where she represented the Bahamas Junior National Team and she had an exceptional showing on the tennis courts. Perhaps the top junior female player in the country resides in Grand Bahama. 15-year-old Gabrielle Sims is making a name for herself on the international level for her outstanding play. Gabrielle recently returned back from El Salvador where she represented the Bahamas as a member of the Junior Fed Cup team. My experience in El Salvador was, was like a good experience because I got to play competitive players. I got to play different matches, different you know, type of balls. So in each match, you know, I got to work on my game and become a better player. Well, we didn't advance to the main draw, but we got to the finals of the consolation round. Gabrielle was part of the three-member team that played exceptionally well. She played in six matches, winning five of those, and her only loss came to the hands of Trinidad and Tobago. As to what's next for the young sensational player, Gabby says she's looking to improve her rankings this summer. Well, the ITF is coming up in the summer, and I hope to do well in that tournament, and also like other tournaments um, in Florida or any other where, any other place. Like, I hope to do well in those. Gabby acknowledges that a lot of hard work and sacrifices was done this past year. She credits most of it to her coach and father. My coach Rodney Carey Jr. and my dad, they helped me a lot. They pushed me, you know, each practice, each day. They made me work hard just to be prepared for this tournament. My goal is obviously to go pro, but for right now I'm working on getting a college scholarship. So, yeah, but mostly pro. Gabby has a bright future in tennis. Best wishes to Gabrielle Sims as she moves forward. Also in sport, the YMCA in partnership is preparing for their gala that's going to be taking place this week. The YMCA will be the home of the Endurance Fitness Gala this Saturday, March 9th, beginning at 6 p.m. The competition will be open for males and females of all ages with various activities, says fitness instructor Charmaine McNabb. To really see where you are in your, in your fitness level and um, also to encourage others to come in and join the YMCA because we want to always, always be a part of the community because the YMCA is here for the community. The motive is, as I said, is added feature attraction. You know, you want to do something different to, 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 to get people in and to add to the fitness center so we could you know we could satisfy all our customers and as i said is to attract other people to come in karen johnson director of the ymca says this fitness initiative is mainly for the grand bayman fitness community for persons who are interested in living a healthier lifestyle through the inspiration of mrs McNabb and dialoguing with a number of the members here at the ymca they wanted to know what would it take to get the community of Grand Bahama interested in being a part of the YMCA. Everybody is into fitness. As a result, a, f a small committee was formed. That committee met and we brainstormed a lot of stuff. First, we started out with a fashion show and eventually we got to the uh, fitness gala. The, the gala is not only for camaraderie, but also those individuals who don't know what's happening at the YMCA. This gives you an opportunity to come on in. Come on in and see what the YMCA is all about. And that's a check on sports on this beautiful Thursday. Until next time, have a great one.